Issues like when your phone just starts to become sluggish or laggy is common, and in most cases, they're pretty minor that you don't need to do complicated procedures to fix them. In this video, we will show you how to fix a Galaxy S21 that's extremely laggy after an update. But before we show you our solutions, we would appreciate it if you share and like our video to show us your support. Going back to our topic, here are the things you can do to fix this problem. First solution, close apps running in the background. It is always possible that this problem is due to some applications that are left running in the background and continue to use your phone's RAM and CPU. So the first thing that you need to do to try and fix this problem is to close them. Here's how you do that. Tap the recent apps key to view apps that are left running in the background. Tap close all to quit them all in one touch. After doing that, try to see if your phone is now running smoothly. Second solution, refresh the memory of your phone. Sometimes closing the apps that run in the background is enough to make your phone work perfectly again. However, if your phone is still extremely laggy after the first solution, then what you have to do next is to refresh your phone's memory by doing the forced restart. It will also reload all apps and services. Here's how you do it. Press and hold the volume down button and the power key for 10 seconds. This will trigger your device to shut down and power back up. When the logo shows, release both keys and allow it to continue the boot process. Once the reboot is complete, observe your phone closely to know if the problem is fixed. Third solution, reset the settings of your device. Another possibility that you have to look into is that such a problem can be due to some inappropriate settings. So what you have to do next is to reset all the settings on your phone. There is a command that will do just that and won't delete any of your files and data. It's safe but very effective. Here's how. Open the settings app on your phone. Scroll down and tap general management. Tap reset to view the reset options. Tap reset all settings. Tap reset settings to proceed. If prompted, enter your security lock. Tap reset to reset the settings of your Galaxy S21. After resetting the settings on your device, try using it like you normally do to know if the problem is fixed. Fourth solution, factory reset your phone. If the first three solutions fail, then your last resort will be to reset your phone. A factory reset will fix any firmware-related problems including this one. However, before you actually do it, make sure to create a backup of your important files and data as they will be deleted and you may not be able to recover them. When ready, follow these steps to reset your Galaxy S21. Open the Settings app. Scroll down and tap General Management. Tap Reset to view all reset options. Tap Factory Data Reset. Scroll down and tap Reset. If prompted, enter your security lock. Tap Delete All. Enter your password and tap Done to proceed with the reset. After the reset, set up your phone as a new device. It should be running smoothly now that you've already reset it. We hope that this guide can help you one way or another. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.